the Coral Free Bets handicap is next. We move back to Newcastle on a race where we can all join in. And there's a field of about 14 or so. I think it's a 0 to 70, so we probably can't all join in. Anyway, the top dancing rows for Satyam, Sandra Sagram, Tamadot Masquerade, Thomas Rogers, Temper, for Graham Clutterbuck, Dernier, Nosh, David Robertson, Marley Turan, CDJ Liggett, Crystal Falls, Obi Wan, Crawler, Martin Leedham, Lakota, Sally, Patrick Hogan, Crystal Clear, Obi Wan, East Kilbride Pirate, Matt Cooper, El Marmol, Bard, Alex Cherry, Kin Elegance, for Satyam, Sandra Sagram, and Louise for Matt Cooper. Field of 13. Biggest field we've seen of the day so far, I think. And away we go. The best part of two miles to race, and you can be pretty sure that Satyam's horses will be getting out into the lead. And that's exactly where Kin Elegance has gone at the moment. Kin Elegance has gone on into the lead then. For all crystal clear. Thought it likes the front run for Obi Wan in second, then Crawler is third, Elmar Moore Bard, and then Temper. Then comes Louise in the second, Obi Wan horse is Crystal Falls. For that one, we've got the second Satyam horse, Dancing Rose, the grow the top weight. The one on that one's outside in the similar colours is a Padre Hogan horse, Lakota Sally. Looking towards the back, Tamadoc Masquerade is just a back marker for Thomas Rogers, but they're well strung out already. And Kin Elegance is a good four lengths clear. Crystal clear. He's doing his best to close the gap. There's a gap of five then to Temper and Crawler. Then comes Crystal Falls with Elmar Moore Bard. Louise is next. Then the Grey Lakota, no, Dancing Rose, sorry. Then East Kilbride Pirate and Marley Terran between those two. Then the other Grey is Dernier Nosh with Lakota Sally on. That one's outside in the back marker. Still Tamadot Masquerade. Then as they race down towards the final mile. And Kin Elegance is a still a good four clear of Crystal Clear. He's got a similar lead over Crawler and Temper. They're about three lengths to the good over Crystal Falls, who heads the main group with El Marmol Bard being pushed along on its inside. Marley Tehran looks to be going well. East Kilbride Pirates a bit boxed in. And Louise is now just the back marker, but Kin Elegance continues to show the way. From Crystal Clear in second, Crawler and Temper are now making a bit of a forward move to join Crystal Clear, and they're moving four or five lengths away from the remainder. So the leading four are well clear at this point, but there's still five and a half furlongs to go. And Kin Elegance is bowling along nicely in the lead. Crawler moves into second. Crystal Clear on the inside is third. Temper looks to be cruising on the outside in fourth. And there's a big gap to Lakota Sally and Marley Tehran, who are starting to get going. Dernier Nosh is also making a bit of a forward move now as well. So they could have gone too quick up front and it's Kin Elegance, Temper and Crawler with just tucked in behind them Crystal Clear now though it's only a two length gap to Marley Tehran and Lakota Sally and then Dancing Rose and Dernier Nosh and there's still three furlongs to go as Temper hits the front and Crawler goes second Kin Elegance under pressure, all of a sudden they're coming from behind, Marley Tehran is flying, so too is Dancing Rose, Lakota Sally as well, so too there is Dernier Nosh suddenly it's all changes, Crawler hits the front with two to go, Crawler's gone on then but Temper immediately fights back then comes Dancing Rose and Dernier Nosh. Marley Tehran is trying to run on. Tamadot Masquerade is flying. Furlong and a half to go. Crawler and Temper from Tamadot Masquerade. That's the one you'd want your money on at the moment, I think. Crawler and Temper are crawling as Tamadot Masquerade sweeps past them with half a furlong to go. And Tamadot Masquerade put this one to bed in a matter of strides. Up towards the line, Tamadot Masquerade takes it for a fast finishing. Dancing Rose, Dernier Nosh is third, close for fourth between Crawler and Crystal Falls, Lakota Sally after that, and then Temper and all the way back to East Kilbride Pirate. But Tamadot Masquerade took that one pretty comfortably. And the second highest weighted horse in the race takes it, the top weight was second. So the class horse is winning out there. As you can see, Dernier Nosh was third, so it's Tamadot Masquerade for Thomas Rogers, the winner. Dancing Rose for Satyam, second. Both just getting in 0 to 70s at 70. Dernier Nosh for David Robertson was third. Crystal Falls for Obi-Wan was fourth, and Crawler was fifth. <laughs>